Hi. Hello there. How are you? Giancarlo. I'm Kim. Kim. Nice to meet you. Lovely to meet you. This house is beautiful from the outside. It's a beautiful home, isn't it? It really is. I don't know about the inside, though. Right. The energy <laughs> may be a little bit different. Yeah. Are you ready to do this? Yeah, I think so. A little apprehensive, but uh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Anxious? Anxious. That's a good word. That's a good word. All right, well, All right. let's see. Once I open this door, maybe a whole different story of what lies behind here. Let's do it. Why don't we, uh, I feel drawn to, to this, this room with the piano. Hold on a second. There's... There's a woman sitting at that piano, and I feel like she's connected to you. She comes across like a, a mother energy or a grandmother energy. And the reason she would sit down is because she knew how to play either the piano or the organ very well in her day. It's a woman. She's very much connected to you. Had to be my grandmother. Did she do that? She was an organist in and the church. An organist? Organist. She played the piano oh. uh, and the organ in the Baptist church in, uh, in Alabama. This your mother's mother. My mother's mother. Because that's what she just said. She said, I, I'm on his mom's side. Oh, you have an Uncle Al, Albert? <sighs> I did. He's passed on. She had four brothers, and uh, Al was one of the four brothers. He, he feels like that's her son. Like she's coming across like she took care of him like, like a mom. She did. They were very, very close. Very close. And, and I feel like that's more, as opposed to her brother, she may have always kept an eye on him like a son. Yep, he was the youngest. Somebody's calling out to Gloria, too. Wow. <sighs> OK. Do you want to sit? Uh, I'm all right. Um, Gloria is my mother-in-law, my wife's mother. Gloria, and I adore her. She's an amazing human being, and she's one of my favorite people in the world. They know. Now, I just have to tell you something. Standing in this home, I am actually getting the sense that you, you, you're not the only one that had an experience in here, family members. My brother had a very, very strong experience. You have one brother? I have one, one brother who's a year older than, than myself. OK, so he has seen something. I would love to talk to your brother. Do you think you could get him on the phone? I could try, absolutely. Sure. Hi, how are you? Oh, great. Listen, I'm, I'm in my old house with, with the lovely Kim, who's a psychic. Uh, we're sort of talking about a lot of different things. And I know there was some experience that I had in this home and that you had um, here as well. So I, I wondered if you might be willing to come over and, uh, and join us. He's willing to come on over and talk, which would be it's great. It's meant to be. Yeah, absolutely. Could we keep walking? Because yeah. something's drawing me to the steps. This feels more playful. This doesn't feel like any kind of a threat, but I see a girl at the top of the steps. She's going like this. She's like, come on out. <laughs> She's a little too trusting, I would say. Yeah, my, my daughter saw a little girl up here. And, um... Right here? Mm-hmm. This was it? This was your daughter's room, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, did you feel like that that energy shift when we... I did, anyway. Did you feel it? <laughs> Something was going on. You look a little nervous. Yeah, well, you know, this was... This bring back memories? Memories, years ago, being outside of her door, hearing her talk to somebody and opening the door, and no one's there. OK, wait, my heart's racing really, really quickly now. When you go out this window and you go to the road that the road goes like this. Mm -hmm. 
a lot of a lot of tragedy happened on the road that went I see fire. I see a big giant fire. I see stables with horses burning down to the ground. But it's it's at the fork and it's to the left. Wow. Hey, how are you? How are you? Well, thank you. Look at you. Yeah, this is Kim. I love your outfit. I'm thank Kim. You so much. Pleased to meet you. Thank you for coming, by the way. Well, it's, I, it was. Anything for my brother? Ah, oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> Did you have an experience down this hallway? Well, the hallway and the children's room. Uh, well, there's a gentleman joining us in spirit, and he's he's has a depressed way about him, very, but also a little bitter, a little angry. And he's at the top of the steps with a woman that I know is his wife, but I'm sensing that he's been in touch with you as well. Yes, so I came and visited one afternoon. The man you're speaking about described himself to me as the pastor. Well, what did you actually see? Wavy white hair. He was standing with his wife and a young child. The pastor said, you know, this is our church. And I said, oh, yes. And he said, yes. And we've been here for a long, long time. The boy was a young man when he passed, the son. His dad was uh, trying to get his son to be more spiritual and follow in his footsteps as a pastor. And the son really didn't want to really go down that road. It wasn't for him. It was for his dad, but it wasn't for him. But he also told me that his son died at a very young age, similar age to the mom. This pastor you're describing, he lived a quite a, a long life. Mm. But that being said, without his child and without his wife. But there's some kind of vortex that I feel is in this back bedroom that I'd love to go into. Yeah. It's this way, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, look at this, two rooms in one. This looks to me where the vortexes are, in, in its corner of the piece of the property. Mm -hmm. And, oh my God, I just feel it all in my shoulder blades. Uh, hold on a second. There's, um, this is, it feels like, the, this to me feels like the congregation room. This whole area. This is almost like where they hide out, and a lot of activity goes. And I'm not talking about the little girl. I'm talking about that family. Hmm. But I'm sensing that there's more to the story about the time you saw the pastor. You started telling me a little bit, but mm -hmm. I didn't let you finish, I don't think. Well, the pastor said, this is our church. He actually told me, your brother and their family have to leave. This is our place. We don't want anybody in here. We said, you know, there could be a fire. This is in the same breath as him, as him telling me, this is our church. Your brother and his family cannot stay here. And then the day after, I had a dream. Mm -hmm. This is the dream that I shared with you. So I had a dream that this house was on fire. Joy and the kids were trapped in the fire. My brother and I were standing out on the sidewalk as fire engines were arriving. And I was holding him back because he said, let me go, I have to go in and save Joy and the kids. And I said, no, if you go in there, you're gonna die along with them. And then the dream was finished. It's so interesting. That was definitely a warning for you because he's claiming this place as his right. and his church. But because he's still here, he impressed upon you a lot of his emotions. And you being a very sensitive, intuitive person, you were picking up on a lot of his struggles. But when you left here, everything happened differently for your life. It's almost as if you 
walked away from energy that was holding you back, holding you down, making you angry, maybe even bitter at your own circumstance. And it might have even put you and your family at risk if you stayed. It doesn't matter where we are, what space we're in. We have to find God or the higher power within ourselves. Mm -hmm. The pastor as well. He can't keep holding on to, you know, the sheetrock, the walls, the physical dwelling of this place to claim it as his church. Mm -hmm. And the same is with you. You didn't have the wherewithal to sustain this beautiful home but once you left the pressure of having to live up to that, you found your power within. And my whole life changed. Everything changed. So for me, the theme is not about this house at all. This is just where it all started. And hopefully today, this is where it's all going to end.